In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Nintendo DS emulator called Desmu Me. This is not the original version of this emulator that's on the official site. It's a custom build that lets you use enhanced 3D textures and high resolution, unlike the original. I will be setting this up on Windows 11. Okay, so in the description below, you will find the link to this Google Drive page. Once you are here, go ahead and click right here where it says DSHD video. And then you want to click right here, Desmu Me X432R X64. It's going to say no preview available, download. It's going to tell you that the file type might be dangerous, but you have nothing to worry about, download anyway. And then your download should start. After that, we're going to head over to 7zip.org. The link to this page is also in the description below, and we're going to use this program to extract our game files. So if you don't already have it, download it. I have moved the Desmu Me file to my desktop. You guys can move it wherever you like, whether that be an SSD, external hard drive, external SSD, it's up to you. Now, before we open the emulator, I'm going to show you guys how to extract your game files. So here on my desktop, I have a folder called NDS games where I have some DS ROMs. Now I cannot tell you here on YouTube where to get DS ROMs, but I will tell you that I have some videos on my Patreon page that will help you out. Link in the description below. Okay. So when you first get your DS ROM, it's going to be in a file format that needs to be extracted. So as of right now, none of my DS ROMs are playable. So using 7-Zip, we can do one at a time or we can do all of our ROMs at one time. I'm going to do all of them. So let's highlight them. Let's right click, go to show more options, 7-Zip and extract here. And there we are, all of our ROMs have been extracted and they are now in a playable format. That being the NDS file type. So we no longer need the zip file, so you can just go through and delete those. Now we can go ahead and open the emulator. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to the top, click on config, emulation settings. Under CPU emulation mode, you wanna go ahead and check use dynamic recompiler. This will make this emulator run smooth and give you the best performance. Do not change this number from 100 and go ahead and click on OK. Go back up to config. Go down to sound settings. Now to make sure you get the best sound quality, you want to go ahead and change this to synchronous and make sure down here it says method in. OK. Back up to config again. Come all the way down to the bottom and you'll see high resolution 3D renderer. And we're going to bump this up to the highest times four. Back up to config. This time we're going to 3D settings. Now by default, your renderer is going to be set at soft rasterizer times four. And this will give you good performance. And if your PC does not have a graphics card, this is what you want to leave it on. But if your PC does have a graphics card, you will get even better performance by changing this to OpenGL times four. And since we are using OpenGL down here, we can enable anti-aliasing. This will make our game textures look a lot smoother. Now go ahead and click OK. Back up to config, frame skip, and we're going to bump this up to nine. This way, if we fast forward in game, the gameplay will remain smooth. Now we need to go back and check something back up to config frame skip and you want to come back here just to make sure that auto minimize skipping is also now checked. Now to set up that fast forward key as well as other hotkeys, we're going to come over here and select hotkey config. So you have quite a few hotkeys that you can set up. And if you're looking for your fast forward, here it is right here. I'm pretty sure this hotkey will come in handy when playing Pokemon games. When you're finished setting up your hotkeys, go ahead and click OK. Now let's set up our controller. Let's go back up to config, controller config. Now I have tested an Xbox One, Xbox Series, PlayStation 5 DualSense, and Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, and all of those controllers work with this emulator. If you are using anything else, you would just have to try it out for yourself. 
As of right now, I am using an Xbox Series controller. Also, make sure you have your controller already connected to your PC before you open the emulator. So the button that's highlighted green is the button that's ready to be emulated. So right now, it wants to know what button am I gonna use for up. So all I wanna do is press up on my Xbox controller. Now it wants to know what button for left, down, right, B, and so on. Go ahead and complete this for all of your buttons and then you wanna press OK. Now let's make our windowed screen a little bit bigger. Let's go up to view, window size, and let's go three times. And now let's go ahead and load up a game. So let's go up to file, open ROM, go ahead and locate wherever you have your ROMs. In my case, on my desktop, NDS games, and I'll do Rayman DS. Now to use any controls on your touch screen, you're just gonna use your mouse. My bottom screen right now is my touch screen. So if I use my mouse, you see it works. Now, to change your layout, you wanna go up to view, LCD layout. Right now, we are on the vertical layout. We could change this to horizontal. This is what it looks like. We could change this to one LCD, which you really wouldn't wanna use this one because you can't see your touch screen. I'm going to change this back to horizontal and we're gonna go back up to view, and this time come down to screen size. So right now we are using 100% to 100%, meaning our main screen and our touch screen are the same sizes. Now, if you wanna make one bigger than the other, you would choose to side with the higher percentage and the other side with the lower percentage. For example, right now, my left screen is my main screen and my right screen is the touch screen. So if I select 100% to 50%, it's gonna make my left screen big and my right screen small. And this is the way that I actually prefer to play. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.